You guys got a lot of beds, you know? It's a lot of laundry. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's two there. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Nine beds. And you guys are in the big bed again. I count the one beside your bed as two, because oh. there's that pillow there that counts as a bed. No, that's just so they don't go sliding underneath the bed. Oh. <laughs> it's like a bumper, it's a cushion. Eight dog beds in 860 square feet. <laughs> we have a dog bed for every 100 square feet. Why are you shaking? Because I found him on the big bed and he knows he's not supposed to be there. Were you kicked off? Again and again and again. Yeah. You guys have your little bed. Those are for the big guys. Where they're are they not, supposed to lay down? They're not in use right now, so I think they can justify it. Mom's got your back. Always. Yeah. These are my boys. My little guys. Today, Britt is officially... 17 weeks pregnant, baby. With a baby. With a baby. With a baby. A human one. A human one. A human baby. You heard the heart beat again last night. Yeah, we heard it at home. We can use our at-home Doppler. That's what it's called, right? Doppler? Yeah, it doesn't have an accurate reading on the heart rate, but that's okay. As long as we hear it, we're good. We could hear it. So now, whenever we feel like hearing the actual heartbeat, not just a heartbeat bear. Yeah. That was pretty cool. So we got some errands to run around town today. It's Saturday, October uh, something or other. 22nd. October 22nd, 2022. We'll have some fun. Very scary. Chevy, you scared? Chevy, are you scared? Halloween's coming. Okay. Who's that? Get these, get these grocery bags out of the way, right? Chevy, what's this up here? What's that? No? Not I'm scared? looking for snacks. What if I... Diesel, you too? <laughs> See him when he's like, oh my goodness! Who are you? Starts kissing him. No, he's not. You? What do you think? This guy is ugly! My goodness! I thought Dad was ugly. Hey. <laughs> it's coming to be that season again. We're usually big decorators for Christmas time. We're slowly going to start uh, beefing up our Halloween decor as well over the years. Just a little bit this year because we don't really have much money to play with this year. But maybe next year. I think I made a mistake. Okay, thanks to Brian on TikTok. You guys know Brian? You know Brian. Brian B. Brian Knopf? I don't know. I've, I've shared some of his videos on my Facebook before. <clears throat> he uh, made, a, made a TikTok today about how good these are. These are the President's Choice Coconut Cookie Chips. And that they should be outlawed, and he's going to run for city council, too. Yeah. Something like that. For he's <laughs> he's going to ban these because they're too good, and it's true. Oh, they're so good. They melt in your mouth. Coconut cookie chips. Oh. Mm -hmm. Canada finally hit the nail on the head with a snap. Gotcha beat, America. At least in the cookie department. Yeah, cook chip. Cook department. chip cookie. Oh, it's a cookie chip. Cookie chip. We got cookie chips. What do you got? We got our Halloween candy stash here ready to hand out. Not the popcorn, that's for me, obviously. <laughs> Went a little intense on the candy even though we don't live in much of a much of a Halloween town but we're gonna try to encourage it <coughs> we're set we're ready bring on the kidlets and whatever uh, doesn't get uh, given away obviously uh, will be donated to my candy fund for myself 
Mostly you. We got uh, just the little Kit Kat bars. They're little vampires. We got yeah. these Sour Patch candies, like uh, these guys, right? Those are good. And a couple of these chalk bars. Twizzlers, Jolly Ranchers. Oh yeah. So I asked her if we were gonna put these out on the porch and turn them on and remember, rem if, uh, we're gonna remember to turn them off before we go to bed. And apparently, I learned something, it's bad luck to light your jack-o'-lanterns or light any Halloween things like this before Halloween. It invites evil spirits if you light them too soon. None of those around here. Nope. Hi, Chevy. I've seen things. <laughs> and we're, uh, we're too lazy to carve our own pumpkins, so we bought these ones. It's not so much about the laziness, it's just not really that much fun when it's two adults. So, you know, once we have, once the little one wants to start carving pumpkins, heck yeah, mom and dad will get on board. But till then, it's just, it's not fun without little people. So, that's where we're at. Britt and I are about to do our nightly heartbeat listen. Thought maybe I'd let you guys listen too. This is what we use to listen. It's a Sonoline B pocket fetal Doppler. We've been able to find the heartbeat once with it and that was yesterday. So I'm excited to try again. We got this from Brit's cousins, Ryan and Roma, who also went through the IVF process and had a baby girl. They use this through the pregnancy. Now we're using it. All right, so this is where we listen to it. Britt puts a pillow under her back. A couple underneath a couple. my butt. The dogs stay here for support. They like to hear the heartbeat too. I'm very excited. Just, just resting here real quick. <laughs> Give me a quick power nap. This is going to be exciting. Me too. Very excited. Okay, we got this, uh, this gel. Ultrasound gel off of Amazon. Yep. All right. Okay, so yesterday I found it right in here, I think, right around here. Yeah, it's pretty centered. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Tuck this in so my pants don't get full of the ultrasound gel. Okay. Ready? It's gonna be cold. Yeah, hey, I like cold. Good? Sure. I can't sure. see it. Okay. <laughs> so I don't pull this out of here. Hopefully I can do this. Right. Oh. On. And the numbers don't really work. Not yesterday anyways, but maybe today. You want to hold this today? So that I can hold the camera with one hand? Okay. Turn down the volume at first. Okay. Ready? I probably put on way too much gel here. Oh well, you can wipe some of it off. Spread it around a bit. It's loud. Okay. Ready? Get the volume up. Yeah. It scares me every time you do that. It's hard to find, but once we find it, we're good. That's baby's heartbeat. It's not very clear yet, but 140. It loses it. I don't know, this counter isn't very accurate, but we can hear it as a baby. In the camera here, it's very quiet. Am I hurting you? Nope. No. Hope you heard that. <laughs> so I have to press pretty hard. I feel kind of bad. It's still pretty deep in there. It's not yeah. the most sensitive instrument in the world, but... Also, my bladder's not full right now. When my bladder's full, it's a better... It sounds better because it actually lifts the uterus out of the pelvis and upward and out. And that's why you get 
a better heartbeat if your bladder's full, but I couldn't hold it. And to you people who just subscribed, welcome to Trucker Hi. Josh Vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> Not just trucking. <laughs> Daddying too. <laughs> and so that's that. Second day we've been able to hear it. It's still very faint with the one that we have now. Like I was saying, it's not a very powerful one. As the baby grows, it'll get easier and easier to hear it. It's not medical grade, it's just home grade. Yeah. Mm. It looked like we were getting about 140 beats per minute. 144 at one 144? Point. Yeah, and the baby's heart beats around 150, so. That's close, yeah. So, yeah, it almost picked it up completely. Okay. It's still pretty deep in there, right? Like I've told you guys before, I have a very tilted uterus. And I know most of you don't want to hear this, but it tilts towards my spine and close to like 30% of women have that. And uh, so it takes longer to rise up and out of my pelvis than it does for women with just a regular upright uterus. So it, uh, she's sitting, re or he is sitting real deep in there. She or he. She or he. We don't know. <laughs> we think it's a she, could be a he. We don't know. It's not just trucking. Majority of it will be trucking because I take the camera on the road with me, but the kid is going to be a much bigger part of my life than trucking. So this, who knows, this might turn into more of a family, a family trucking channel. Well, I still got to go trucking during the week. So it'll yeah. be like a trucking Monday to Friday, come home and uh, family stuff on the weekend. Yeah, the dogs stuff. in Old Blue won't be his only babies. He'll have a real baby soon, a skin puppy. I was just telling her and her, her dad and stepmom yesterday that uh, it's not just a new life that's coming into the world. I feel like I'm getting a new life too. Like my life is just beginning. You probably feel the same way even more. I've been waiting actually... for this since I was little girl. You asked little Brittany what she wanted to be when she grew up, a mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finally gonna be fulfilled. No um, pressure. <laughs> <laughs> life will be completely different yeah. and life will sort of start over a whole new life. Like we thought it was a, a new chapter when we got married, which it was. It was a new chapter, but this is a true like turning a page to a, a new life altogether. We didn't realize when we got married either that it would be a five year struggle chapter. We thought we'd have babies right off the hop. We, we didn't realize. We thought we'd have three by now. Oh, for sure. At least a third on the way. But we're happy with what we get at this point. Yeah. What's the saying? Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just take a healthy baby at this point. If we don't get the big family that we wanted, that's okay, as long as we get a family. And if you're new, this is an IVF baby. Yes. We went through an IVF. We have one more embryo uh, left after this, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we can uh, have our second one naturally. Our bodies will kick in the gear and be like, oh, that's what you do with it. Time for bed though. Tomorrow we're heading up north, further north than I've ever been in Manitoba. Way up there. I've got to take a ferry to get to where I'm going. Apparently it's like an hour and a half ferry ride. I didn't even know this place existed in Manitoba. No offense to anyone who lives there. It's a very small community. Uh, so we're gonna head up there tomorrow. There should be something interesting, something different. It's not cold up there. In the winter time, I would drive across the lake to get there. But since it's still summer, the ice obviously hasn't frozen over yet, there's a, there's a ferry that we gotta go on. And I'm kinda nervous about that because I've never been up there and I don't like water. Did you just water. say it's summer? Well, it's, I, I didn't mean it's summer. It's almost the end of October. Where have you been? I'm in denial. <laughs> I'm in hardcore denial. It's still summertime. The water hasn't frozen is what I'm saying. So we still gotta take the boat to get to this community. <laughs> There's no way to get there, except by boat, at this time of year, apparently. Crazy, right? Should be fun, or you can get there by plane, I guess, but I, I can't fly my truck in there, that'd be a little more expensive. I guess a boat is cheaper. 